CNC software has been a major innovator of CAD CAM for over the past two decades. The MasterCAM product has been used all over the world in almost every major industry, with specific packages for milling, turning, wire EDM, and CNC router. MasterCAM is probably the most complete CAD CAM package you can buy anywhere. And if you're a version 9 MasterCAM user, you know what I'm talking about. You stuck with version 9 because you know it's a system that makes sense, works, and produces the NC code that you need to get the job done. As other CAD systems progress, and computers have made huge technological innovations, you're probably finding that you're falling behind with your MasterCAM version 9. Well, we're here to help you. We've been making major developments in CNC programming with MasterCAM X. And we'd like to show you what some of those innovations are. Not only that, but we want to help you to make the transition from version 9 to MasterCAM X. So besides this little introductory video to show you what we can do, we've also produced a series of video training to help you make the transition from version 9 to MasterCAM X. Before we start to discuss the innovative features in MasterCAM X, let's talk about the new interface. Let's talk about what's different and what's the same. Well, obviously the basics of the screen interface looks different. It has to. It's updated. It's current, modern, new technology. It includes dockable toolbars. But here in MasterCAM version 9, notice when I right-click my mouse, this is what I get. Now let's take a look at that same action in MasterCAM X. I right-click my mouse and it's virtually the same menu. Yeah, it looks a little bit different, but has all the same basic functions and works the same way. But what makes this special in MasterCAM X is your ability to customize the right-click menu. What if you could put all your favorite, most frequently used commands right there underneath the right mouse button where you need it? MasterCAM version 9 users love the productivity of their hotkeys, and MasterCAM X allows you to keep that productivity. About 60% of the hotkeys in MasterCAM X are identical to version 9. About 30% of the hotkeys have been modified only to accommodate the differences in the new interface. And about 10% includes new hotkeys, specifically for the new functionality. MasterCAM X supports the latest versions of all the most popular CAD CAM systems. And opening those files has gotten even easier. Now it's as straightforward as saying File, Open, selecting the file type, and then picking the file that you want. Of course, if you still need to draw your part in MasterCAM, you have the full functionality of the MasterCAM CAD system. Not only do we have all the great construction features that we had before, but now we have live entities. With live entities, I can actually tell it I want to create an arc, place a point, drag out for the end point, and then tell it what size I need it to be. I can also lock the dimension in place for creating multiples of the same size. Live Entities offers a new level of flexibility in geometry construction. But you didn't buy a MasterCAM to draw parts. You bought it to create CNC toolpaths. So let's take a look at some of the new CNC toolpaths. Regardless of where zero may be on the CAD model, we can easily go to our Work Coordinate Systems Manager, and we can set our zero to any location that we want on the part. If I hit Function Key F9, I can see my zeros now located on the corner of the block. To access our toolpaths, we can go to the toolpath pull down, or we can go to the 2D toolpaths toolbar, where we have the standards like drill, contour, pocket, and face. We also have the new 2D high speed toolpaths, but for this part, we're going to select feature based milling. By selecting a few simple settings for tool sizes and tool ranges, we can go to our features list and tell MasterCAM to detect features in the model. It determines areas that make up the outside boundaries as well as inside boundaries. Now we'll just say OK to create our toolpaths. Let's run that and verify. A fast, simple way of completely machining the part. The new MasterCAM X Dynamic Area Mill gives you an incredible amount of control over the toolpaths. In this example, we can see how the dynamic area mill peels away the material. High speed loop keeps the machine in a constant climbing motion. The entry motion for the dynamic area mill is controlled here. Right now it's set to medial. Medial creates a track 
around an average of the openings in the cavity. Of course, we can still do a helix where it'll helix its way to the first depth, or we can do a helix with a full medial burial, meaning it'll cover the full width as it creates a track around the inside, opening up the area for the rough. Or a trachoidal, which will open up a larger channel. Profile can also be selected where you can pick any two-dimensional chain to determine the looping area for the entry. Medial only. Or you can even select an open chain to determine the cutting shape. So by picking the standard geometry for the pockets and the islands, we can also select this chain as the driving force to determine how it enters into the part. If your primary focus is 3D toolpaths, you'll be very pleased with Mastercam X. Not only do we have the standard toolpaths for surface rough and surface finish that you're already used to, we've now added surface high speed toolpaths. And of course, these toolpaths can be accessed on a floating toolbar. With all these toolpaths, calculating time has been reduced, surface finishes have been improved, and program lengths have been optimized. Some of the most advanced developments have been with the Surface High Speed Toolpaths. Let's take a look. With the Surface High Speed Toolpaths, we basically put all your roughing and all your finishing all within one dialog. This makes it easy to copy operations and then select the specific toolpath style that you're interested in. The new dialogs also allow you to select your surfaces, check surfaces, and containment boundaries from right inside the toolpath parameter page. So here, as we look at our roughing toolpaths, we have a core rough, cutting everything from the outside. We have an area clearance, which is basically a cavity machining. Rest roughing, which gets the rest of the material. But our newest toolpath is the OptiRough. Let's take a look at OptiRough. The focus of OptiRough is to take as deep a cut as it can, and then take multiple cuts stepping up to reduce the pressure of any finishing toolpaths. It eliminates deep steps. It's a combination of roughing and rest roughing all in one toolpath. For our surface finishing toolpaths, we have the standard complement that you might expect. We have a waterline contour type cut. We have scallop machining, horizontal area, which will get all the flat areas, raster, which is a parallel type cut, pencil trace, spiral, radial, and our newest hybrid toolpath. Again, all of these menus are dynamic, so as we select waterline, scallop, horizontal, or raster, we get illustrations to show us exactly what type of toolpath we'll be selecting. And our cut parameters will update depending on the type of toolpath that we've picked. One of our newest and more advanced toolpaths is the hybrid toolpath. Hybrid is a combination toolpath. It actually does a waterline and a scallop, but it's not exactly a waterline and it's not exactly a scallop. And let's show you why. Where a standard scallop toolpath is constrained by its outer boundaries, the hybrid toolpath basically looks at the areas that have to be machined. The topology of the surfaces determine the type of toolpath that will be created. And it steps out to an angular position that you specify where it transitions into a waterline cut. Again, two toolpaths combined into one for high efficiency. We've been showing you milling enhancements, but of course, Mastercam has improved the entire product line. Milling, turning, wire EDM, and CNC router. There was a reason you purchased Mastercam in the first place. It gave you a competitive advantage over all the other machine shops. But the longer you wait, the further you slip behind. If you want to maintain your competitive edge, you need to talk to your reseller today and see what it'll take to get you upgraded from your version 9 to the latest in Mastercam X.